Hi, and welcome to The Parrot Coder. So in this episode, I just want to make a quick example of how to use The Parrot Coder and also show some of the things that it can do. Uh, so first, we'll create a new Parrot project. And to do that, you just go into the code editor of your choice and create a new file. It can be anywhere you want. In, in this example, we're going to do cover letters. So we'll call it coverletters.parrot. Enter. So here you can see that the file is empty. And now we go to our Parrot coder and create our project. We'll call it the cover letter project. And we select the file that we just created. Save. So now here we are in our brand new Parrot coder project. If we click save now, it'll populate that empty file with the first object, which is the project itself. Now we're going to create our first template or blueprint. And that will be the cover letter. And here we have our first blueprint. So I've written a fake cover letter for Pizza Hut. And the objective is to fill it in for McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and In-N-Out Burger. So here's one for Pizza Hut. Let's copy all that. And paste it into our code section. And we'll call this the whole thing. So here we've got the whole thing pasted in. Now at this point, if we want to create a replica of this and get it into one of the other files, so let's say we're going to do McDonald's. All we have to do then is select the McDonald's file, which is currently empty. Hit save. And when we go to the parrot file for McDonald's, we'll see that this is what's going to get printed. We can use this button here to see the preview. And when we uh, export, it will populate the McDonald's file. Although it's still got the values for pizzas and Pizza Hut, so we haven't actually created a template just yet. So here, what we can do to turn this we're back on our Parrot Blueprint, File Blueprint. And what we're going to do is turn this into a proper template. So the parts that we need to change will probably be the name. Uh, Pizza Hut needs to change to McDonald's. And here it says, and loves pizzas. And it should change to burgers. So let's change that. And we can go, okay, so here we want to create a variable blueprint. And this is like a marker for the bits that are going to change. So when we click on this, it will ask you to put a name for this blueprint, variable blueprint. And let's say we're going to do that for the name. So we can actually highlight the name here. And it'll bold that. And we'll say this is the person's name and then it'll ask you for a challenge question what is the person's name and you can put in examples Peter John and then hit save and you can see that now the word Peter has been replaced by this little P variable blueprint marker and now, if we go back to our McDonald's Parrot file and take it off um, preview, we see that the, where John was previously there, it's now a marker and we can fill that. And it'll ask you for a question. It'll ask you the question that you put in. So what is the person's name? So it could be Amanda. Dear Amanda. So if we go back to our cover letter, now we want to change this word Pizza Hut to McDonald's. So we can, we, can we can create a new variable blueprint and say company name. 
what is the company name you are applying for and it can be KFC Pizza Hut etc and we can highlight the first time we see it here which is here and it can be here as well but we'll I'll show you how to deal with that in a sec. So now that's created another parrot variable. And if we look here, we can see the two parrot variables that we just created. But as you noticed, it's also Pizza Hut is also here. So we need to add it in there. Now to do this, we don't need to create a new variable. We can actually just use the existing one because we know that um, it's going to be the same thing. And uh, that little button there that I just clicked on will just conveniently allow to, you to copy the marker. And then you find the instance and you paste it in. Save. Now when we go back to our cover letter, our parrot file cover letter, it says Dear Amanda, and we've got two more buttons. So now if we fill that in, McDonald's save and it automatically fills those two values in for us now we've got these bits here I think you should hire me because I am and there's a list so what we can do here is we can actually create a list out of these sections and what we'll do is we'll create a new section below here which encompasses all this portion and this was currently the whole thing. So let's just change that to the opening. And we'll add a new section called ending. And we'll paste in the ending part. And we'll remove that ending part from the opening. And here now you see there are two sections, which again, if we go back to our McDonald's parrot file, we'll see now that it's in two sections, although it hasn't affected our output at all. And now we want to turn this into a list. So it's kind of like there's a little bit of a space and there's a dash and then there's whatever it is that I'm claiming you should hire me for. So let's create a new section blueprint below here and paste that in and say reason to hire me and here we click on this button here is this a repeating section yes it is and click save and now it's created this part here so we can remove these three sections here that will be getting filled in in the parrot file directly and now we need to create another variable here and say well hard working is not what we're trying to say all the time so this will be reason oops what is the reason to hire me question mark I am hard working punctual and we can save and now you see that we've got this fairly generic cover letter now when we go back to our McDonald's example we see that there's a new section here, reasons to hire me. And this could be hard working. If we want to create another one, we create a, we add a repeating section here. We say punctual. And I burgers so now when we look at the 
preview. There's our output. We can export. Go back to our McDonald's text. And there it is, dear Amanda. I'm writing. I love burgers. So here we've got our Kentucky Fried Chicken one. So let's create a Kentucky Fried Chicken one. We go back to our blueprint. We create a new instance. KFC. We select the file that it's going to be going to. And then we fill it in. So maybe this person is Steve. And it's KFC. And the reasons are I love chicken. And I am a fan of your uniforms. And add in one more. Hard working. You can also move these around, so maybe I want hard working first. And I love chicken last. We export, and now we have Dear Steve. I'm hard working, I love chicken, all that sort of jazz. And then we can do another one. Oops. So you go to your Parrot File Blueprint, click on the Parrot Files, create a new Parrot File. This one will be for In and Out Burger. Create that file for us. To your Amy. Drop it in and out burger. So I am punctual. export and again we see that that's been filled out dear Amy and the rest so here we if we want to now change and add a new section in we can add new sections in and say additional bit I have many years of experience in the food services and love to eat the stuff. Cool stuff. And if we go back to our three letters now, you'll see there's a new section. I have many years of experience. I have many years, and it's always in the same spot. If you have additional things that you want to add that don't belong to all the things, all the files, but just maybe for KFC, you can add that in separately and create a unique section. So that would be in a P parrot file directly. And you might add in one just below here and say another bit just for KFC. I Father and my father's father also worked at KFC. Save. And you can see that that doesn't exist for McDonald's and doesn't exist for In N Out Burger, but does exist for KFC. If we look at the preview text, it's right there and then you can export it and there it is right there it doesn't exist in the others so i think that's a demonstration simple demonstration of the parrot coder and some of the things that it can do in the next episode i'll show you more